Okay, so what you're gonna need to do this is, first things first, you're gonna need a hair dryer of some sort or heat gun. But if you're using a heat gun, you gotta be really cautious with the heat because those get extremely hot. Then you're gonna need some sort of um, adhesive remover. We actually use wax remover because that actually breaks down adhesive very well. Um, something like mineral spirits or Goo Gone, those types of things will work well. Um, not an alcohol-based type of product. Those will just dry up and will not remove adhesive very well. Um, then you're gonna need a fresh razor blade. You will also need a piece of like 220 grit paper uh, sandpaper. Then uh, you're gonna need some type of uh, Windex or alcohol, uh, like isopropyl alcohol, something like that that's gonna dry up the wax cleaner or whatever you use. Then what you're gonna need for your razor blade is some type of flat metal surface in order to surface the razor blade on. Then of course you need some, uh, some fresh paper towel. So first thing we gotta do is we're gonna go ahead and use our heat gun or hair dryer. I usually use it on low heat. It's really important to keep the heat moving and not have it in one spot for too long. When you're heating the pad up, it actually allows the glue to soften and release, so you'll have less cleanup in the end. So once you get the pad off, um, this one actually came off really clean. Um, usually you have more residue left over. After that, what you do is you take take your wax remover, which we have in this, in this Windex bottle. But I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it on and just allow that to sit and soak. Then while that's soaking, what I usually do is I take my new razor blade and I have one already here that I already surfaced. But you take that razor blade and to ensure that this doesn't scratch your board, you wanna take a metal surface. This is obviously not metal, but I'm just gonna give you a demonstration. You would take a nice flat metal surface, take the razor blade and put it on an angle that at the same angle that you would use when you're scraping, and then just go ahead and make circular motions on the metal in order to make sure that there's no burrs on the side of that razor blade. Then after you've properly surfaced your razor and you've allowed the surface to, you know, allow that wax remover to set in, then you can take that, make sure you use the right side of the razor and just start to scrape up those pieces that are left, that adhesive that's left over. It's important not to try and push it all off in one shot, but to kind of go back and forth and go at it slower. So once I get the majority of it off, I'll do one more spray and just come back, make sure I got all those big chunks off. And then I'll take one of those paper towels and wipe it down just to confirm that all the adhesive is gone. You can rub, rub any of those leftover spots off. Then what we would suggest before you put that new pad on is to find out about how much coverage you're gonna have. Go ahead and take a piece of 220 grit sandpaper and we're just gonna rough up the surface where that new pad is going. You don't need to sand much, but just, just enough to rough it up a little bit, make sure all the adhesive's gone. Then you can spray it one more time with wax cleaner, just to make sure any, any of that adhesive's completely gone. Then, last but not least, we need to get that residue off. So what we need to use at that point is an alcohol, I would suggest an isopropyl alcohol, some or rubbing alcohol, or maybe Windex, that's another really good thing. Something that's gonna dry up, something with an ammonia base or alcohol base, just so that it's gonna dry up and not leave a residue. And do not use acetone. Acetone is not good to put on your fiberglass surfboard.
do one more wipe with a nice clean cloth after everything. And that's pretty much it, guys. We're ready for your new pad. We're tied to a